Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be a 20 questions, get to know me kind of video. I'm kind of excited to make this video, but I'm also like, what if no one wants to know what your favorite color is? But then I was like, well, if they don't want to know, they won't watch it. So, here I am making this video. So I guess let's just get started. If you guys see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone that has the questions on it. So, let's really get started. Question one, where are you from? I was born and raised here in Colorado Springs. Colorado's a pretty cool place. I've just been here for 21 years, so it gets kind of old, you know? Question number two, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Always has been, probably always will be purple. Funny thing about that is growing up, I wanted to be just like my dad in every way. First of all, I was born on my dad's birthday, which like, I don't think you can get any closer with your dad besides being born on his birthday. So everything he did, I wanted to do. Also, his favorite football team is the Pittsburgh Steelers. So therefore, my favorite team is the Steelers. His favorite color is purple. Therefore, my favorite color is purple too. But I actually genuinely do like the color purple. So that's real. Question three, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is chicken. Anyone who knows me, anyone who kind of knows me, knows that I love chicken. Yeah, I just freaking love chicken. Question four, what did you want to be when you were little? I don't remember when I was little. I'm, I'm gonna text my mom, cause she'll know. She always texts me back right away, cause it's my mom. From what I can remember, I think I just wanted to be a mom. I just remember asking my mom one time how many kids you could fit in a minivan because I thought that was the biggest car that you could own. So therefore, that was the maximum amount of kids I could have. I guess we'll see what my mom says. She'll remember more. Question five, do you have tattoos? And if so, how many? I do have tattoos. I have six. This, I have a half sleeve right now, but I am going to be getting this into at least three quarter, if not full sleeve soon. And I'm sure you guys will come along for that and meet my super cool tattoo artist too. I love so much. Question number six. What is your favorite ice cream? This is easy for me. Oatmeal cookie by Josh and John's. Freaking amazing. It's like... It's just the best ice cream ever. And I'm pretty sure Josh and John's is just local to Colorado Springs. So if you guys are ever in, in the town, make sure you get oatmeal cookie ice cream. Question number seven, are you a dog or a cat person? Also easy for me, 100% a dog person. I just don't like cats and they don't like me. I don't know. It's just we have a weird vibe or something that I've never met a cat that likes me. Question number eight, what is your favorite flavor of jelly bean? None of them. I don't really like jelly beans. They're just not like my, my cup of tea, I guess, I don't know. I just, I don't like jelly beans. Number nine, what's your favorite Christmas movie? I don't really watch movies in general. I'd probably have to say how the Grinch stole Christmas or the Grinch, whatever it's called. I like the one with like the real life actors, not the animated one. I don't know. Question 10, what kind of celebration would there be on a Saint U day? So on Saint Alyssa's day, probably everyone would just eat donuts wait 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 everyone would sleep in until 11 or 12 wake up eat some chicken from chick-fil-a and eat donuts the rest of the day and stay up really late doing nothing number 11 what is the best birthday you ever had oh my gosh uh my dad loves bowling, That's like he, and he's so good at it too. And I love bowling too, we used to do leagues together. So normally when our birthday rolled around, we would just do a giant bowling birthday party because that was fun for kids my age and his friends would come. So we did bowling a lot. I remember one year we did it at this clubhouse in the trailer park we lived in. And we were, I got, my parents got me SpongeBob cake and my dad was holding it and everyone was singing to me and then my nana came in and surprised us all and my dad was like my dad didn't know about it either he was so excited he literally almost dropped the cake so yeah that was a pretty good birthday but other than that i don't know i can't really remember question number 12 coolest place you visited well 
I went on a missions trip to Chihuahua, Mexico, and that honestly, it wasn't a scenery type thing. It, but it was the best experience I've had traveling, so I'd probably say that. But we are actually going to Europe slash Jordan for a month in September, so that'll be really fun. Question 13. What kind of car did you wish you had when you were a kid? What about now? When I was a kid, all I wanted was an FJ Cruiser, the tan one. I wanted one of those so bad. Now, I don't really care about cars that much, honestly. Uh, if it's got wheels and good gas mileage, I'll drive it. Question 14. What was your favorite TV show to watch growing up? The first thing that comes to my mind is Rugrats. I love Rugrats. I would still watch that show to this day. I also really, really, really loved The Big Comfy Couch. I had a little Molly doll and I carried that thing around with me everywhere. Actually, wait, I don't know. Because Blue's Clues was also one of my favorites. I'd have to say it'd be between those three. Question 15, Snapchat or Instagram? For sure, Instagram. I never go on Snapchat. I literally just keep it for memories, but I'm always on Instagram. Question 16. What's a movie you can practically quote from start to finish? Literally the first movie that came to my mind is The Cat in the Hat. The one with uh, Jim Carrey, I think. That doesn't sound right. I don't know who's in that movie, but I literally could quote from the first word said to the last. Because I would watch that movie every single day. And I actually just watched it like three days ago. Question 17. What is something you avoid at all costs? I hate moths so much. They are my biggest fear in life. I just remember hearing this story one time that while this lady was sleeping, a moth crawled in her ear and burrowed and laid eggs and then she died. And that's probably not true. That's probably impossible, but that's stuck in my head. So therefore, if I see a moth, I instantly do this. Hate it. Hate it. Question 18. If you could shrink down any animal and carry it around in your pocket, which one would you choose? <laughs> a sea otter. That's so easy. Look at my little sea otter. Honestly, I would take a normal sized sea otter too. I just, I just want one. Question 19. Have you ever eaten so much that you had to relax afterward? Actually, just last night I did that. I wanted chocolate chip pancakes so bad for like two days in a row. I couldn't find pancake mix at the house we're staying at, so then I tried to make it myself, and then it was disgusting, it tasted like salt. And then I tried to do Grubhub to order some, but then it took me too long to decide what I wanted. They stopped delivering before I could order, so then we went to IHOP last night, and I finally got my chocolate chip pancakes. I ate so much that like I couldn't talk, I just had to like sit there like this, like... I normally order off the kids menu because I get full so fast, but I normally just eat until I'm done eating. I don't eat until like I feel like I'm going to throw up or anything. Question 20, the last question. What's your favorite drink? Again, anyone who knows me will tell you this, orange juice. I love orange juice so much. My dream meal would be a nice cup of pulp-free orange juice and chicken sandwich with no pickle from Chick-fil-A. That'd be my greatest day. Anyways, that's it. Those are my 20 questions. And I hope you guys had fun watching this video and maybe you got to know a little bit more about me. Stay tuned for next week's video. It's going to be a good one. Yeah.